You know, Alex, before we show you where we're going, let's uh, talk about where we've been. Here we are. We get a little pause in the hurricane season. We typically see that this time of the year. Three named storms so far. Yeah, three named storms indeed, including the big one, Barrel. And, and it's not particularly uncommon for the middle of July to get rather quiet. You're a little late in the season to get these fronts that would dive south into the Gulf of Mexico and you get spins off of those. But you're also a little bit too early to get really a lot of those storms coming off of Africa because there's a lot of dry air. So like you said, three named storms so far this year. We are ahead of schedule, believe it or not, right now uh, with the first three storms expected by August 3rd. The fourth the fourth named storm is August 15th. That's the average for the fourth named storm. All right, and uh, let's take a look at what's going on now, Alex. I mean, it's quiet. It's like yeah. that pause. It was very awkward. I mean, there's just nothing going on right now. Yeah, this is a great time if you're going to be taking a cruise yeah. or vacationing to the Caribbean, anything like that. This is absolutely the time to do it because I think things are going to be changing as we head to the heart of the season. But, but right now, really not a whole lot going on. Just tracking a couple of tropical waves moving across the Atlantic. But you can see most of the basin, almost no thunderstorm activity right now. Plenty, plenty of dry air keeping things subdued at the current moment. I always look at that time frame from about July 15th to August 15th. Not every year. I call it the doldrums of the hurricane season. And a lot of the reasons, Alex, as you already mentioned, the Saharan dust. We also have a lot of shear in the uh, uh, Atlantic Basin. But boy, just take a look at the water vapor loop. It's stunning. Yeah, it is a lot of yellow on there. Yellow and orange is dusty, dry air. Again, that's coming off of Africa, coming across the Atlantic. There's even been some reports of some milky skies across South Florida over the last week or two. That's coming all the way across the Atlantic and even into the southern portions of Florida. So again, dry air is not good for tropical development. Tropical development, uh, tropical storms like plenty of moisture and, and we're really not seeing that right now. And it looks like that's gonna continue here through at least next week here. I really don't see any any development happening. A lot of the tropical waves coming off of Africa are rather weak and don't have a lot of moisture with them. Then when they get into this dry air, they really cannot develop. And so they just, uh, they just remain rather weak. And Alex, you and the long range team, when are you looking for this to turn? Because once it turns, it could get active very quickly. It indeed can, and it looks like the rest of the month should be fairly quiet. Maybe we see something at the very end of the month, but I do think most of July should stay quiet. As we move into August, though, we could flip a switch and things could get active fairly quickly. Looking at some stuff, it looks like that the dry air might begin to relax a little bit. Same thing with the shear, and of course those water temps just continue to climb.